When we first got out there, they told us about the planes are coming, and we had planes going to them. And uh, we uh, we were right there waiting to fight back and forth. Like well, it was a great ship, great crew, and we were all brothers. They said war is a young man's game. You probably don't have brains enough to be really scared. It's a game. Later on, you get scared you'd hardly stand it, I guess. But I had I had a job to do, and then you, you didn't uh, you you couldn't uh, you couldn't stand there and watch the planes coming in. I mean, you had to, you had to do what your job was. Uh, and, no, you couldn't. I couldn't I couldn't watch for the planes coming. I just wondered which one was going to get me. Well, I got shot up, and I sh shot about six or eight hundred rounds of 50 caliber at the planes. Uh, I don't know where I hit the thing or not, but we wound up getting a couple of three to uh, bombs and a torpedo. A near miss was worse than a direct hit. A, a near miss would hit downside the ship and just lift it out of the water. And then uh, when it come back down, you, you were lucky to be standing up. Anyway, I got shot up. We abandoned the ship. I went in the water. And it was picked up by the destroyer Anderson DD-411. You, you could hardly stand on the deck. It was leaning on, up, over to the port side. The battle, that's all we knew was World War II battle. We, we didn't get a chance to, uh, to uh, go nowhere and do this and do that. It was, it, it was war. World War II veterans, they tell me, are dying at 9,000 9, a day. And so you can see there's only about half a dozen of us left. I wonder why I'm living sometimes, but I'm in good health, doing good. So that's the story of my life.